Mm. He's gonna help to round that out, but with three divers, Swain I think is really, really strong. Uh, you know, is very good as far as the counter engage. I think Zin Zhao works there as well. I think Corky does help to kind of answer some of what TSM. You may has. see FlyQuest go for their early dragon here, but yes, TSM, boys take a small gold lead. I have TS gold advantage, actually pretty much tied right now, but a Herald means they're gonna gold at minimum. And just like that, before it comes they're in, they're gonna be funneled yep. as Rendus down a farm. Uh, but instinct in the area, they're gonna find that's this play. Slow and, oh, that's okay. after Charm knocked up. That's gotta be first blood. And it's Glenn, the Cam Punk chain sword is always TP 5v4, and they're like, yeah, you're right, we don't wanna take that play. Maybe they made the teleport. The Corky Sejuani probably a little bit better than what TSM has to offer, but yeah. just the, the style that we're seeing out of TSM right now. Much more conservative than Moose. He does not have flash, but he has ult. He's gonna walk right in the front line. Be careful, buddy. Lands a double charm just okay. back to his team. And he's gonna even get the next target as well. So Sejuani gonna be the attack. Chime barely alive, Ooh. ignited, but shouldn't die just yet. And now here comes Swain. Does Maple get his way in? Does he find the help with the teammates? Nice shot oh, onto the man. back. And Maple has to burn an early stopwatch. This is a lot of danger. He's gonna find another stun, but he's still pretty tanky. Fill up low on help, but no one's around to deal any more damage. So it will be damage like Sunfire he just really is quite strong but yeah has looked good looking for a play now a little bit of the slow and Spika walks right back in takes the trade for a bit gets away from the hook Gap, we're gonna go for the ulti itself and Spika gonna take his own ult for safety hope they didn't have pushed out because TB comes in Mega oh! right there for the double stun and Soul sets up a duo that's gonna be Johnson running away as well three until the next dragon Maple's gonna take down this top lane tower for sure as well so the gold lead gonna extend and TSM likely to hit two items on a lot of about to expire and that's something that could be communicated in that situation you know Philip is calling hey he's got like three seconds on Mega he's coming in if you flash early maybe you can actually get out of that situation but a great TP from Soul you know making the most of that situation they're gonna take another turret down on the bot side nearly 3k ahead and actually measure package how much time will you buy before it times out? You got a little bit here. Chime goes for the charm, gets one. Looks for a second. Well, they Double knock is there. And they're gonna dive right on. No way out for Johnson. He'll drop. Speak is on a rampage. Now four kills in a row. Maple knocks down two coin package or not. It does not matter. And he goes in for a bit more. Ulti to save their Jose Diego. Flash to follow. Maple finds another. Speak is on ball. for six. He's gonna keep on going as he gets number seven. Go. KW will not quite land, and someone else will find that kill. But the Drake will certainly be claimed. Soul comes in. Hello and welcome to the LCS in your Second game, you're the team. LCS in the summer of 2021, only to go back to Academy this year. Had a rough start Soul to Academy. involved? Then that oh. could go okay, but they're gonna continue looking for the ult. He's gonna burn it early. He tried to Nicely predict done. the Meganar, and he waited it out. So, well... Maple's well. behind them. Like, this is impossible. If you go in and Maple comes in behind, so they're gonna try to turn on Maple here. You get the ult out early. Yep, and Mythic doesn't do much in a one versus one, so uh, as long as you can get Phillip out of ranges, will eventually time it. You can see the bar ticking down. has a good down, position, though. And the ulti ends, but... No one is around for this deal. It's a barren claim. Tremendous amount of poke. Maybe they have a chance, but yep. it's going to be all about Johnson. They just got to go, I think. If they try and fight early, that's their best chance. And they're going to look for two quick, getting slowed up. Got to package around. A lot of spots being that's taken. One. Soul drops. One so far. I'm going to burn the zone. He's packaged it pretty well right now. Disengaged, though, and a death onto the support. But he yoinks back. Well done. That is the AD carry gun. Azita flies in. Zonia's popped, and here we go. It's time for Instinct okay. to go for a pro. No way. Number four. Give it to him. You better not steal it. Instinct seals the deal. The dragon will drop. Soul is claimed. Baron is claimed. And TSM's first win on this new roster will be claimed as well. What a fight and what a moment for Instinct there. Getting the penta kill here. 13 to 1, a 10k with the sword. on the push here. Gonna look to try to close this one out or at the very least deal lethal damage. Knock down a couple in hibs because they are just monstrously ahead. And it's gonna be up to Johnson and Takui to try to make something happen. Just about 6,000 on the Red Bull Baron power play. Weirdly, the graphic does not show pentakills earned during Barons, but uh, that one's in there as well. Uh, count out on the scoreboard for Instinct here. You have to give up the top inhibitor at this point. Uh, anytime you're defending while down, you always mount your defense around a turret. You pick one that you're most happy Whoa. to play. You look down to 1k here as well. Not enough to execute, but maybe we're going to just walk right in, say you're not allowed to play for this one. I like the arrest positioning. TSM making the right call to ensure that this turret is going to cool. be getting. And they're going to look at mid lane now as well. So triple inhibitor going to be pretty much a guarantee. FlyQuest still need to heal. Triple inhib, incredibly hard to come back from, of course, here as well. Not even counting the 12,000 gold lead. But think of all the free gold. Think of all the gold you could theoretically earn if TSM <laughs> don't end the game. And I know it's a, a small thing as they as they might try and end the game right here if they can Knock get a up. kill on Philip. 
He's tanky. Slow resistance is now gone as well, but down to 300 health. Going in by the Swain as well. Blackwish might try. And they just might try. Now, Soul, fully minion Arsenal's gonna land. They're gonna try wow. to get out Maple's ulti, but he's slow by the Rileys. And Philip will indeed die. Soul, nearly Mega Nar. Aphromoo, incredibly low. Stun's gonna land. Shine finds the. The charm finds the knockout, finds the follow through from Sol and gets out with the life well done by Chime on support. Sol able to walk out as well. And TSM now in a 5v3 and call it an 8v3. They got super minis floating in for all three lanes now as well. Lick the wounds for a second, but you got to believe they can close the game out on this push. Yeah, they're going to try utilize the TP, get another member back at full health. Instinct low on mana, but full on damage. So I think it's just a matter of time before they end this one. Flash in for the slow, almost knock up ulti for safety now as well. Azonia is out for Jose Diodo. And they're so low on the TSM side. Under. Yeah, the health bars are low. You a bit are about forgiven to fully reset, but the ult's already back now for Maple. Johnson has to run the front flash. <laughs> oh, Burn flash again. Package could be good. Next is good. Follow Zeri gets Ooh. one. Legendary <laughs> for Instinct. The Nexus. Oh.